to eating healthy, here's some global inspiration with Disney Channel's Pass the Plate. Ever wonder where fruit comes from besides a bowl? The answer is all over the world. Apples from New Zealand, bananas from Costa Rica, oranges from Spain. But there are also many fruits that don't come from all over because they're grown right where you live. That's why I love coming to my local market. There's so much local fruit to choose from. Locally grown fruit is really fresh too. Sometimes you can even go out and pick it yourself. Of course, what you can get depends on where you are. And some places have a lot more choices than others. Greetings from Brazil. I'm Renata. And I'm Olav. And we're here to tell you what fruits you eat if you live in Brazil. Wow, there are so many different kinds. That I don't think we're going to be able to name them all. But let's try. There are passion fruits, pineapples, oranges, bananas, papaya, guava, mango, coconut. Not to mention the more exotic ones like jabuticaba, acerola, caju, star fruits, pinha, peaches, strawberries, grapes. Stop! <laughs> we took and put all together and, and make an amazing, amazing Brazilian, Brazilian fruit salad. Hola, Andreas Muñoz here in Spain. We Spaniards love fruit. One of the fruits that I like the most is the pomegranate. In Spanish, granada. There are a lot of different ways to enjoy pomegranates, even as juice, but my favorite is probably just like this. Orange with pomegranate. Delicious. But watch out, because you can stain your fingers. <laughs> well, at least it matches my nails. Anyway, I love pomegranate juice. And lucky for me, it's easy to find pomegranates here at my local market. There's one thing you need to keep in mind when you pick one. You always pick from the top. <laughs> to learn more about eating local produce, get your parents' permission and you can go to DisneyChannel.com slash pass the plate. Eating healthy, here's some global inspiration with Disney Channel's Pass the Plate. Hey, friend of song here for Disney Channel. When you hear the word seasons, do you think of clothes, holidays, school? Well, how about vegetables? See, vegetables have seasons too. The spring brings fresh carrots, the summer has green beans, and spinach is great in the fall. The best place to find whatever's fresh right now is a farmer's market like this. Great variety, huh? Of course, what's in season here isn't the same as what you'd find in other markets around the world. Because when it's a wet fall day here, it's sunny over here. Hi, I'm V from Disney Channel Vietnam, and I'm at a traditional market. In Vietnam, we have fragrant herbs with every meal, especially this, mint. It adds zing to hot bowls of noodles. We also eat vegetables with all our rice and soup dishes. These greens go into our famous rice paper rolls too. I like mine with lots of carrots and lettuce. Just add what you like and roll. Bonjour, I'm Julia Campo. And I'm Lia Francois from Disney Channel Friends. We're here in Paris at one of our local markets to find in season vegetable for vegetable casserole called ratatouille. I love ratatouille. Great. Uh, first, we need sweet onions, mm. plum tomatoes, mm. and eggplant. Mm, I love vegetables. We also need zucchini. I love zucchini. And red bell pepper. I love. We, we know. Red bell pepper. Julia! If it's not a red bell pepper, it's a spicy pepper. And if we put it in the ratatouille, it will be too spicy to eat. Oops. But if I use it to make salsa, it'll be perfect. Uh, don't worry, I'll make something you'll like too, as long as you carry the basket, which I'm going to fill right here at my local market with fresh in-season vegetables. Have you yet? To find out more about eating in-season, get your parents' permission, and you can go to DisneyChannel.com slash pass the plate. When it comes to eating healthy, here's some global inspiration. Disney Channel's Pass the Plate. Isn't it amazing that we live on a planet that's three quarters water? No wonder we eat so much fish. 44 pounds a year for the average American. But that's nothing compared to the Japanese. They eat 132 pounds. Boy, that would be a heavy plate to pass. Let's see what they have to say about eating fish. Hi, we're Blessed Four from Disney Channel Japan. What we're making here is called Shirashi Zushi. Shirashi Zushi is made with fish, rice, and vegetable. It might look a bit different from the sushi you all know and love, but it's still a type of sushi all the same. It's even easy to make, and the final touch, some shredded nori. Ah, oh, man, it's my favorite. Mm. I like it! Oh. Why are you eating it? <laughs> By the way, nori, seaweed looks like this before it's cut up. Bonjour, I am Manon Azem from Disney Channel France, and I'm making a French speciality. 
We call it poisson en papillote. In other words, fish in paper. Just like in the fancy Parisian restaurants. Yeah, and you know why it is so tasty? Because cooking it in paper keeps all the flavor inside. And you know, the fish is very good for your little prince memory. It will be ready in 20 minutes. Hi, I'm Julio from Disney Channel Italy. And I'm here on the Ligurian coast. We have just prepared spaghetti al cartoccio, a dish that in Italy is a famous seaside recipe. It's put together with mussels, clams, squid, any seafood you like really. It's called cartoccio because of the way it is prepared, wrapped in tin foil or carta to keep the flavors in. Come closer and check it out. Buon appetito! Hi there, I'm Sydney from sunny Disney Channel UK. You know, whatever the weather, there's nothing quite like a good picnic down at the seaside with some mates. We've been coming down here since I was little for some good times, great food, and of course that bracing sea air. First up, the fish market to buy a big bag of fresh prawns ready to boil on the beach. Don't even need plates, just use mugs. <coughs> Thanks! Call me shellfish, but I love to eat shrimp. Now, I had no idea they were such a worldwide favorite. You can see how much everyone likes them. Well, at least I've got some great new recipes to try in the next batch. Why go get more? Remember, no matter how big the world might seem, we all come together when we pass a plate. Hungry for more? With your parents' permission, go to DisneyChannel.com slash pass the plate. Eating healthy, here's some global inspiration with Disney Channel's Pass the Plate. What's your favorite kind of fish? And don't say fish sticks. <laughs> what I like about fish is there's so many different kinds. And what I like about fish markets is you can walk around and see all the different kinds of fish they have, like sea bass, red mullet, halibut, wow, that's a big one, <laughs> rockfish, a dozen or more different choices. So while you see what kind of fish kids in other countries get at their markets, I'll just hang out here and chill. こんにちは。日本のディズニーチャンネルの福永まりかです。ここスキズは世界で一番大きな大一番のもの。何十なんてものじゃなくて、何百種類というお魚の中から選べちゃう。大きな魚か小さな魚。お魚に見えないようなもの
I'm Renzia from Disney Channel Singapore. Pasta's great, but I love me. Me. That's what we call our noodles here. And when we serve them, they look like this. We're in the center of Asia, so our cuisine comes from three colorful Asian cultures, Indian, Chinese, and Malay. Here's Indian mee goreng, Malay mee rubus, and Chinese prawn mee. Wherever you are in Singapore, you'll love me. Thanks, or should I say thank you, for my bowl of meat. And speaking of me, do you know what I like best about coming to the local market? There are so many foods from so many countries, it's like traveling the world without ever leaving home. Now, I'm going to practice using my chopsticks. Want to find out more about foods made from grains like pasta? With your parents' permission, you can go to DizzyChannel.com slash PassaPlate. to eating healthy, here's some global inspiration. Disney Channel's Pass the Plate. Hey everyone, Brenda Song here. Today, we're gonna pass the plate with bananas. Bananas are a great sweet treat, but what I like is they give you an energy boost too, which I'm gonna need if I'm gonna pass one all the way to Australia. G'day, I'm Dennis Zach Dennis. Here in Australia, we like things big, like the famous big banana here. One thing that's big on my flavor list is grilled bananas, done Aussie style, <laughs> on the bar. The secret is to make them sweet by turning up the heat so all the natural sugars inside are caramelised. Of course, if you don't have time to caramelise, pulverise! Hi, I'm Greg from Disney Channel UK. You know, there's nothing that quite spells summer to us Brits, like the tennis tournament at Wimbledon. Following the action on court, or even waiting for the rain to stop, can burn a lot of energy. So, to keep myself on the ball, I grab a smoothie every time I come here. Mango and banana, blueberry and banana, and sometimes even coconut and banana when I want something sweet. We South Africans like sweet too, but we also like spicy, which is why Durban curried banana salad is such a favorite. Hi, I'm Aisha for Disney Channel South Africa. The curry powder combines with tomatoes, onions, apricot jam, and the all-important bananas to create that amazing taste treat. Now, I know combining all these ingredients might sound a bit strange, but before you say, no way, dude, I'm not eating that, bear in mind that we aren't the only ones who put bananas in our favorite food. Hi, my name is Robson from Disney Channel Brazil. Here in Brazil, we love rice and beans. But you know what I like to do to sweeten a little bit? I add some slices of banana. <laughs> yeah. I call it arroz com feijão e banana, a family recipe I learned from my mom. Wow, it sounds yummy. I think I'm gonna try some too. Michelle and Robson are right. That does sound yummy, even if I can't pronounce it. <laughs> but we did get to see some pretty awesome ways to eat bananas. Me? I used to just have with milk in a bowl. But now, I'm inspired. I'm gonna see how many different dishes I can make with bananas. Remember, no matter how big the world might seem, we all come together when we pass the plate. Ooh. Wanna make your own international meal? With your parents' permission, go to DisneyChannel.com slash pass the plate. the health kick heard around the world. Get the global spin on eating right with Disney Channel's Pass the Plate. Hey, Brenda here. For lots of people in America, a picnic means hamburgers, potato salad, and corn on the cob. For me, it's my mom's spinach, mango, and chicken salad. My grandma taught her, my mom taught me, and now I'll share it with you. Yum. It's sweet and it's healthy. The mangoes aren't just used on mom's salad. Let's pass the plate to see how they're eaten all over the world. Here in Mexico, the streets are alive with taste, smells, and colors. Hi, I'm Paulina, and this is my brother David from Disney Channel Mexico. My parents used to take us to Coyacan on Saturday morning to get mango from the street vendor. Slice mango on a stick, sprinkle with salt and lemon. And I like to add some chili powder too. It's awesome! Mm. It's my favorite healthy fast food. from heavy fast food to my favorite drink. Hi friends, I'm Sonia from Disney Channel India. Uncle, one mango lassi please. In India, we produce around 10.8 million tons of mangoes every year. There are many ways to relish it, but there is no other way better than the mango lassi. You can just take it as a India's version of a smoothie. Some mangoes, some low-fat yogurt and milk. Blend them together and... Yummy! G'day guys, I'm Alicia Bennett in Australia. 
On a hot day down under, there's nothing like taking the edge off the heat with a delicious fruity icy pole. My mum makes the best mango ones you've ever tasted. Puree fruit frozen just like this. Oh, and if you eat them too fast, try this trick to get rid of a brain freeze. Stick your thumb up into the roof of your mouth and... Hey, no more brain freeze. Who's up for another one, guys? Hello, I would have thought a mango could be used in so many different ways. I've definitely seen some dishes I want to try. The only thing I'll get my little brother to taste one with chili powder first. <laughs> so remember, no matter how big the world might seem, we all come together when we pass a plate. Hungry for more? With your parents' permission, go to DisneyChannel.com slash pass the plate. It's the health kick heard around the world. Get the global spin on eating right with Disney Channel's Pass the Plate. In my house, we eat a lot of rice. But not just white rice, brown rice, wild rice, even sticky rice. That's what they use for sushi. But as many kinds of rice as there are, there are even more ways to make it. So let's pass a plate to see how kids all over the world eat rice. Hello, we are from the Chinese 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 那它的吃法有很多种，在这里边呢，你可以加上鸡蛋、蔬菜或者是肉。那我的妈妈呢，就特别喜欢红豆、小丸子、冰糖和米熬制一锅香甜可口的红豆粥。那也是祝福家里边的人呢，幸福和好运。Hi friends, I'm Sonia and I'm Sunny. We are from Disney Channel India. Ever had rice for breakfast? In India, you can have it at any time. Idli is the perfect snack, spelled as I D L I, and it is pronounced as idli. Idlis are made from rice and lentils. I like mine with chutney the best. There are many varieties of idlis, but my favorite is my mom's recipe of the maliga idli. Maliga is a jasmine flower, and the idlis are as soft and fragrant as the jasmine flower, and simply delicious. Hi, I'm Julia from Disney Channel Italy. Here in the Tuscan countryside, and I'm about to tuck into a rice salad, a great Italian summer dish. Fresh, healthy, you can put all sorts of different ingredients together into a rice salad, and they all mix well. Fish, eggs, meat, beans, the more you have, the more you put in. It's a perfect way to be with friends. And so, buon appetito. Hey, what's up? We're Bless Bar from Disney Channel Japan. All right, here in Japan, one of our favorite rice dishes is onigiri. Balls of rice that are filled with traditional foods like fish or Japanese pickles wrapped in seaweed. Onigiri is simple to make and easy to carry around, making it the perfect picnic food. My idea of the perfect picnic food is something invented right here in Southern California. It's an American version of a Japanese sushi roll with sweet sticky rice, crab meat, and lots of avocado, called California roll. It combines the best of two different cultures, sort of like me. <laughs> And every time I eat it, it reminds me that no matter where we live, food can always bring us together. We just have to pass the plate. Want to make your own international meal? With your parents' permission, go to DisneyChannel.com slash pass the plate. It's the health kick heard around the world. Get the global spin on eating right with Disney Channel's Pass the Plate. Hey, I'm Brenda Song. Ever wonder if there's a secret to memorizing stuff? My mom used to say, eat your spinach. And you know what? Turns out she was right. Scientists think spinach can actually improve your memory. I know it works for me. How else do you think I'd memorize all these recipes? So, while I pick more spinach from my garden, let's pass a plate to see how kids in other countries enjoy spinach. G'day, I'm Jack Pearson. Here in Australia, we love eating spinach because it gives you brain power and muscle power. I love spinach for brekkie, with poached eggs on top, green and gold, just like the colors of my favorite rugby team. After a brekkie like this one, there's no holding me back. Hi, I'm Kum Levan from Disney Channel Friends, and we are having a picnic here on the bank of the Seine River, just under the Eiffel Tower. So guys, what are we eating? Spinach salad with citrus fruits. Spinach. 
Actually, you're kidding, I hope. You should try some, because not only it is delicious, but it is also full of vitamins. That will make you stronger. It does look pretty good. And you think I play better at my soccer match after yeah, that? Yeah, totally. Come on, pass your plate. Au revoir. Hi, we're Blessed Boy from Disney Channel Japan. In Japan, when we eat spinach, we'll often have goma ai, which is steamed spinach and sesame seeds. Goma ai is very traditional and nutritious, so it's often included in what we call to be bento. A bento is a takeout meal in a container just like this one. A bento has many compartments to hold the various types of foods, meat or fish, rice, pickles, and some type of vegetable. Wanna go on a picnic? Our mom often makes bentos for us to take. She loves to hear the sounds of the empty bento boxes when we get home. Hello there, it's me, Greg, from Disney Channel UK. Well, if we went for a picnic today, we'd probably have to pack a change of clothes. Here in Britain, the weather can be pretty unpredictable. So when it does take a turn for the worse, I like to stay indoors for some homemade soup. My favourite is creamy spinach. It's a family recipe that my mum got from her mum. And as they say, nothing warms your tum like soup made by your mum. Soup made by mum? Yum! Although I prefer my mum's baked spinach balls. <laughs> In fact, when I was a kid, I'd eat them so often, she'd say my hair was going to turn green. Of course, that only made me want to eat even more. Green hair! How cool would that have been? But anyway, just remember, no matter how big the world might seem, we all come together when we pass a plate. <laughs> Want to make your own international meal? With your parents' permission, go to DisneyChannel.com slash pass the plate. When it comes to eating healthy, here's some global inspiration. Disney Channel's pass the plate. I bet you never knew how to green thumb. Well, in this case, a red thumb. <laughs> When I think of tomatoes, I think of pizza sauce, spaghetti sauce, ketchup, even salsa. There are so many different ways to enjoy tomatoes, which, by the way, are officially fruit, not a vegetable. Let's pass a plate around the world and see how other people enjoy these perfect little red fruits. Think fast. Hi, I'm Giulio from Disney Channel Italy. The Caprese salad originated on the sunny island of Capri. Mozzarella, tomatoes, fresh basil, and a drizzle of good olive oil. The three ingredients, green, white, and red, make up the colors of the Italian flag. Oops, I almost forgot the finishing touch. A pinch of pepper, and the plate is served. Hi, I'm Rondo for Disney Channel South Africa. Frigadels are meatballs smothered in tomato sauce or chutney. The best thing about frigadels is that each meatball is actually made by hand. When I was younger, helping out in the kitchen, I pretend the meatballs were actually snowballs. So, does that mean that we actually had meatballs, snowball fights? We thought about it for sure, but hey, come on guys, meatballs are just too tasty to miss out on. Bonjour, I'm Comme Le Vin from France. Here, we have a very special way of preparing tomatoes to make them taste even better. Mmm, that smells good what you are cooking. Yup, I know. It's an old top secret recipe that my grandmother taught me. <laughs> right. Tomato farci? Okay, it's tomato farci. But do you know what ingredients I've put inside, huh? Oh, uh, vegetable? Cheese? Oh, I know. You put meat. Maybe. It's a surprise. You'll see. Bon appétit. <sighs> Here in Argentina, we have the tradition of eating tomates rellenos, or in English, stuffed tomatoes at the holidays. I'm Danny. And I'm Fede from Disney Channel, Argentina. I remember the whole family together at my grandma's house celebrating. The tomatoes were always a big hit. Yes, Danny, in my family too, I remember juggling tomatoes while my mother was cooking for the party. Oh. Hey, that's perfect. The last thing I needed to make my friend a song one of a kind mouth-watering marinara sauce was a crushed tomato. <laughs> In the meantime, remember, no matter how big the world might seem, we all come together when we pass a plate. Now, let's see if the spaghetti is ready. Want to make your own international meal? With your parents' permission, go to DisneyChannel.com slash pass the plate.